Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel or just welcome if this is your first time. My name is Gal and I do a lot of uh, healthy grocery hauls, fashion content, lifestyle content, vlogs, and much, much more. So if you enjoy my videos, I'd love it if you'd subscribe to my channel uh, so you won't miss out on any. So in today's video, I'm doing another Trader Joe's grocery haul and I'm also going to be filming some of the meals that I make during the week. Um, this week, they are super easy and so tasty and uh, let's just get into the haul. I am going to be making uh, smoothies this week. So I got some organic frozen mango and I also got some organic frozen strawberries. And also I love eating uh, frozen mangoes as a snack too. So um, they taste so good and uh, it's just like a lot easier than cutting up your fruit. So super convenient. I also picked up some baby spinach to incorporate it in my smoothies. And I'm also going to try the Trader Joe's coconut water. I'm also going to be adding some of this in my smoothies. For lunch this week, I'm gonna be making beef and broccoli stir fry. Um, this is a super easy meal to make and it tastes so good. So I picked up some flank steak from Trader Joe's and also some broccoli. And I also picked up some frozen broccoli. Um, I just wanna have this in my freezer. The fresh broccoli expires after a couple of days. So I just like to have these like in my freezer just um, for whenever I feel like eating broccoli. I also picked up some green onions uh, for the stir fry. I love green onions also for stir fries, also to put in salads. And I also picked up some fresh cilantro. I absolutely love salads. So I picked up some organic herb salad mix. I picked up some cherry tomatoes. And I also picked up some creamy goat cheese in uh, herb seasoning. I'm going to sprinkle a little um, in my salad. And I also picked up some grilled uh, chicken breasts. Um, for some protein and I also like that they're in individual small packages that way um, I could always eat it fresh Usually when I get like a big package after I open it I have to throw it out after like two days um, because it just like starts going bad What I like about it is that uh, all it has is organic boneless skinless chicken breasts organic vinegar water sea salt organic garlic powder organic onion powder and organic black pepper. So um, the ingredients uh, look pretty good. And I'm also going to be making chicken quesadillas. So I'll be putting um, some of this chicken inside for some protein. I got some Trader Joe's uh, taco seasoning. Um, I got some shredded cheddar cheese for the chicken quesadillas. And I also picked up some carb savvy uh, tortillas. So these have 45 calories uh, per tortilla and they have a total of nine grams of carbs and zero um, grams of sugar and four grams of protein. I think you could find tortillas that are even lower in carbs, but this is just what they had um, at Trader Joe's. And I also picked up some chunky spicy guacamole for the um, quesadillas. Uh, I love this, it tastes so good. I just wish it also was in like small individual packaging because after I open this, um, it just like goes bad after a day or two. And I also picked up some Greek low fat plain yogurt. Um, I'll also be eating this with um, the quesadillas. I also picked up some canned tuna for some protein. And I picked up some Trader Joe's avocado oil spray. Um, so this is just really good for high heat cooking um, as opposed to olive oil. And what I like about the sprays that they have uh, zero calories. And I also picked up some uh, frozen crushed garlic and frozen crushed ginger. These are super convenient for cooking. You just pop out uh, one of these cubes. And I also picked up uh, the Trader Joe's Zatar seasoning blend. This is how it looks like. 
Um, the ingredients are toasted sesame seeds and different spices like thyme, coriander, uh, oregano. This is just like a kind of a Middle Eastern uh, seasoning blend. I like to sprinkle this on top of something called labane, which is similar to kind of like a Greek yogurt. I just um, sprinkle some olive oil and also sprinkle some of this on top. And uh, I also like to eat it on top of salads um, and also like sprinkle it on top of feta cheese. You could also put this on top of uh, hummus. I put some olive oil and then I add this on top. It's um, very versatile. Sprinkle over hummus or Greek yogurt. Drizzle pita bread with olive oil and top with za'atar. And it's lovely over meat, fish, vegetables, and potatoes. So I used to love eating labane. I'd of course put some olive oil, some za'atar on it, and I would like dip french fries in it. Um, I just like thought it tastes so good as like a dip uh, for french fries, but it um, might sound kind of weird. And last but not least, I picked up some energy bars for breakfast. I have my usual. I have the crunchy peanut butter Cliff Bars. Um, I picked up the peanut butter chocolate RX bar. And I want to try the Go Macro Bars. So I have um, a couple uh, different flavors. So I will be trying them out and I'll see uh, if I like them. That was my Trader Joe's grocery haul for this week. And I am going to be showing you some of the meals that I am going to be making with them. And I will see you in a bit. For lunch today, I'm gonna to be making beef stir fry. Um, it looks like a lot of ingredients, but some of these are optional. And I am going to be using less sodium soy sauce, rice vinegar, toasted sesame oil, some olive oil, honey, some salt, pepper, and I also have a pound of flank steak. And I am going to be using crushed garlic, and I also wanna try crushed ginger this time. This is also optional. And I have some green onion, some broccoli, and I'm also going to be adding some potato starch. This is also optional, and you could also uh, substitute it with cornstarch. And I am going to garnish with sesame seeds. I start by chopping the green onions and thinly slicing the beef into one inch pieces. Next, I prepare the sauce. I mix together five tablespoons of less sodium soy sauce, half a tablespoon of rice vinegar, one tablespoon of honey, and half a teaspoon of potato starch, and put it aside. And by the way, the full recipe is listed in the description box below. Then in a large skillet, I heat two teaspoons of olive oil and I add the beef and I season with salt and pepper and I cook the beef till it's almost ready and then I remove it from the skillet and put it aside. Then in a clean skillet, I heat two teaspoons of sesame oil and then I add the green onions, some garlic, some ginger, um, I add the broccoli and I cook it for about five minutes uh, till the broccoli is soft. After that, I mix in the sauce and the beef and cook for another two minutes. By the way, you can make this recipe with whichever protein you prefer. I use beef this time, which I normally don't do that often, but I just felt like it this time. So after the stir fry is done, I heat some sesame seeds for garnish, and that's pretty much it. Um, you could eat this with uh, Persian rice, or cauliflower rice, or just by itself. Another meal that I'm making this week is a chicken quesadilla. I have some low carb tortillas, cheddar cheese, I have uh, some grilled chicken breast, and I also am going to use my avocado oil spray, 
and I have some salt, some green onions, taco seasoning, and I'm going to be eating it with guacamole and some low-fat Greek yogurt. I start off by chopping the green onions and the chicken into very small pieces. And then I heat the chicken for about two minutes um, in avocado oil. And I season it with about half a teaspoon of taco seasoning and a bit of salt. Uh, the chicken is already cooked, so I only need like about a minute or two to heat it up. And then I just uh, make the quesadillas and cook them. This is how it came out. Uh, I added some cilantro on top and I also added some green onions on top and some tomatoes. Sometimes I eat this with like a little salad on the side or sometimes with just like tomatoes. And I have some guacamole and some Greek yogurt. These were some of the meals that I made during this week. And I hope this gave you some meal ideas. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.